Welcome back to the show. I'm Kachi Ophia and you're watching Rise 360. So it is time to find out what has been going on in the charts and behind the scenes in today's music news. So Gladys Knight remains one of those artists that you just cannot not love. And she made no apologies for her decision to sing the national anthem at the opening of the Super Bowl, which critics called spine tingling. The singer known as the Empress of Soul followed in the footsteps of artists including Cher, Aretha Franklin, Whitney Houston as well. Now ahead of her performance, Gladys Knight said she was proud to be chosen to sing the Star Spangled Banner despite the decision by other artists not to perform. The 74-year-old is a longtime civil rights activist, and she said, look, she just wanted to give the anthem back its voice. Well, believe it or not, that performance wasn't what made headlines on the day. I'm serious. Ridiculous, right? Well, the thing is, what everyone seemed to talk about was Maroon 5's halftime show. Now, we'll have more on that in a moment when we talk what's trending. I mean, there's really so much to know about that. Let's go away from this to another situation that has really got people wondering what's the future for R. Kelly. Now, the Philadelphia City Council has unanimously passed a resolution to ban the singer R. Kelly from the city. Now, as you already know, the Grammy winner has been mired in allegations of sexual abuse for many years and was the subject of a vi viral commercial talking about the documentary Surviving R. Kelly. Now, while it is not an official ban, the resolution serves as a public declaration that the city doesn't welcome him. Philadelphia Councilwoman Helen Jime and, you know, other people said R. Kelly and predators like him should be shamed and banished from the public sphere. First, he was looking for where to get his music across, and now it's a city. Who knows what's going to come next? Well, the Recording Academy has announced its first steps aimed at tackling gender inequality in music. Now, it is calling on artists to include at least two women in the pool of candidates they hire from. A special task force was set up following the 2018 awards in response to accusations that the Grammys are too male or too white. Out of the 86 Grammy Awards handed out that year, 17 of them went to women or female-fronted bands. Artists including Cardi B, Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, Nicki Minaj, and Pharrell Williams have signed on to the new inclusion initiative. And this is not starting out to be a great year for Bow Wow. So after an initial arrest that occurred early on Saturday, which involved artist Chad Moss, popularly known as Bow Wow, being charged with battery against a woman named Leslie Holden. His lawyer has come out to make a statement defending the rapper. Now, in the statement, the lawyer said Bow Wow was wrongfully arrested after being bitten by an out-of-control intoxicated male at his Atlanta condo. According to him, as well as a statement given by the witness, Ms. Holden bit him with a lamp, bit him on his side, and spit on him while Bow Wow continually made efforts to avoid her. His lawyer concluded that they look forward to the charges against the rapper being dropped and are fully prepared to assist the Fulton County Solicitor's Office in prosecuting Ms. Holden. Well, that is all the music news for today.